A couple of months ago, I launched a video on my channel talking about how much money one video with 50,000 views ended up making me just from Google AdSense. Well, fast forward five months later, that video is about to hit 500,000 views. And I wanna take a look at the analytics again, talk about how much money it's made me, how long it's taken for that video to get to that point, and really just dive into the analytics. Now, I absolutely love this content. I love watching other creators talk about how much money they make from YouTube, whether it's AdSense, sponsorships, affiliate marketing, whatever it is. I love the topic of making money as a YouTuber. And as you guys know, I am not sharing this to brag with you guys in any way. I just wanna help you to be educated, especially if you wanna become a full-time YouTuber and you wanna learn how much money you could possibly be making from your YouTube videos. So the video that we're going to take a look at today is my most successful video on my channel up until this point. But I do wanna say the stats that we are looking at I uploaded this video back in July. So it's taken about eight months for this video to hit 500,000 views and for it to make this much money. So the video we're going to be taking a look at today is how long it takes to get monetized on YouTube. And this one video has generated about 19,000 subscribers for me. So if you have found my channel because of this YouTube video. This was really just the start within the growth of my channel. And I've shared a lot of other videos talking about how I was able to use the algorithm and gain more subscribers pretty quickly. So if you guys want to check out those videos, I will include some in the description bar down below. But today we're just going to dive into this one video and see how much money it made me. So I am not one for clickbait. I don't want to waste too much time here in the intro. Let's just dive into the analytics. Just quickly as an overview, I'm on my videos tab right now and I have these sorted by views. So my most successful video is the one that I just told you guys about. Currently it has 498,000 views. It's going to hit 500,000 today. It has 14,000 comments and it has 25,000 likes on the video. Now that's not what we're here to talk about. So I'm going to click on this analytics right here. I'm going to sort this by since uploaded because I like the graph a little bit better. And you guys can see, I'm not going to hide anything right here. This video that has almost 500,000 views has ended up making me $3,816 and 17 cents up until this point. Now, this is the first thing that I want to stop you guys. And I want to talk about, it's not like I'm going to receive one big paycheck for this YouTube video. This has actually been paid out monthly for me, $3,800 broken out into eight months. I'm receiving about five hundred dollars a month now obviously if we take a look at this graph right here when the video first went live the first few months it wasn't generating that many views which means that it wasn't making me that much money so it wasn't until recently that i started to get more and more views per day that it started to generate more money and you can see that i'm going to click on this estimated revenue tab at the beginning i was making couple of cents a day. So here I was only making 10 cents a day, but then I ended up making a dollar a day. So the first couple of months, I wasn't making that good of money with this YouTube video. It was just recently. So I see this spike here in one day, I ended up generating $46 and 59 cents. And then more recently, I would say this month I'm making around 10 to $15 from this one YouTube video. Now, if you only clicked on this video because you wanted to see how much money I ended up making, I'm sure you're gonna go ahead and click off. But for those of you that are going to stay, I do wanna share some other valuable information about how I was able to make this much money, the ads placed on the video, what my CPM is, and all that stuff that really goes into making money on YouTube and making more money from your ads. Now I wanna stop the video real quick because this segment is sponsored by Epidemic Sound. About a month ago, I launched a video talking about how you can make your YouTube videos more interesting in the editing process. And one of the tips I gave you guys is to add music. So if you are ever curious about where I get my music or you really like a song within my YouTube video, just know that it is from Epidemic Sound. It is seriously the best platform for YouTubers to find copyright free music as well as sound effects that you can include within your YouTube videos. But one question that I actually got from you guys is what happens if you have to to cancel your membership in the future. And this is something that I seriously applaud Epidemic for is if you have to cancel your membership, the videos and the content that you uploaded when you were a member of Epidemic Sound, you will not get copyrighted for those. You are good to go. You are completely safe. If you are looking for music that is copyright free to help you create just amazing YouTube videos, definitely check out Epidemic Sound. I did include a link for you guys in the description bar down below where you can get started with a one month free trial. First things first, we have to talk about CPM. And if you've watched any other videos on YouTube talking about YouTube, YouTube ads, Google AdSense, making money from your YouTube videos, they're going to share what CPM is, but I just want to explain again in this video, CPM stands for cost per thousand views. So it's an average how much money you are making per thousand views on one YouTube video. And your CPM fluctuates. It fluctuates per day, it fluctuates per video, and it's also going to be very different on your channel compared to my channel just because of the topics that we share videos on. So for this one video, I'm going to click on the revenue tab right up top here. This is where you can find your CPM for every one of the videos on your YouTube channel 
channel. And like I said, one video can have a very different CPM from another video, even within your channel. So for this video that we're taking a look at right here, my CPM, so my average cost per thousand views, what I am getting paid out for is $14 and 26 cents. Now I'm going to click on this to share this with you guys, because I have seen a couple of videos. Like I already said, I love these videos talking about making money on YouTube. And I've seen a couple of videos where people say that their CPM is like $300 or something absolutely insane. You will notice that when your video is not getting that many views because your viewers are located in different countries and a wide variety of factors that really go into generating a CPM, your CPM is really going to fluctuate. So from the beginning here, this is back in July when my video first got uploaded to my YouTube channel, my CPM on one day was $44.94, which is absolutely insane. Over time, as the video started to get more views and it really kind of leveled out in terms of views where people were actually viewing the video, the CPM definitely became a little bit more consistent. So even here, it shows that it's $20 a day, but then it goes down to 12 or $14 a day. So it's a little bit more consistent over here because my views were more consistent compared to up here. My views, I wasn't receiving that many. So it fluctuated dramatically because of the location of the audience, as well as just other factors that go into generating a CPM. And I don't really want to dive into that. But the first thing you should know is that this video, the CPM is about $14 and 26 cents. And the topic of the video is making money on YouTube, which is really important because I have other videos on my channel talking about keywords on YouTube or even just different aspects of growing on YouTube. And those videos CPM is actually different from this video. So if you guys want to learn more about this, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I do have another video coming out soon talking about why some videos make more money compared to other videos. And I think you guys would really be interested in that. Also on this page, you can see it right down here that my estimated ads revenue is actually $3,756 and I'm getting paid out by the YouTube premium. So people that have YouTube premium and watch my YouTube videos that way, I'm still getting paid out. So I've made almost $60 from this video. So it's pretty obvious that most of my revenue is coming from people that are just using YouTube for free. But in case you are ever curious about if you actually get paid out for those premium members that do not see ads, yes, you do. And the other thing I want to share is right here, the ad types. If you are curious about what ads you should have on your YouTube videos, what ones can make you the most money for me, skippable video ads. So, you know, the ones that count down and say five, four, three, two, one, and then you can skip it. Those actually end up making me the most money and they've generated me 86% of the income that I'm receiving from this one video. Now, if you are brand new to YouTube or you haven't actually been monetized on YouTube, you don't know how to place ads within your YouTube videos. It is important to note that videos over 10 minutes long can have ads placed in the middle of the video. So you guys may notice if you actually go to my channel right now, all of my videos that I've been uploading within the past five or six months have been over 10 minutes long because I want to increase my opportunity of having ads on my videos and making the most money possible. So if you have a video that is less than 10 minutes long, even if it's nine minutes and 58 seconds, you can actually only have two ads within the video, one at the beginning and one at the end. So this video that we are looking at right here is over 12 minutes long. So I do have ads within the center of the video, which increases my opportunity to make money. So I want to share with you guys where those ads are placed and really take a look at when people are dropping off the video to see if they're even watching those ads. And if how many ads I have on the video is truly making me more money or actually losing viewers. When you become monetized on YouTube, you're going to get a new tab within your video editor. I'm going to call it. So when you're selected on one video right here, where we're taking a look at the analytics, you're going to see this tab down here that says monetization. So I'm going to click on that just to show you guys what ads I actually have selected on this video. So when I was first getting started with monetization, I was trying out a strategy to figure out what ads were actually going to make me the most money. And I realized that once I had those skippable ads that were making me the most money, I decided to take off overlay ads and sponsored cards from my videos. Now, this isn't a strategy that I use anymore. I actually have all of the ad options selected on all of my videos, and I haven't really noticed a difference in my income, in my revenue. But for this video, I just want to be honest with you guys and say that I do not have overlay ads selected, and I also do not have sponsored cards selected. But down here, you can see that I have an ad selected before the video during the video as well as after the video. Now, when you select these options, YouTube actually gets to decide if they are going to play an ad before your video. I thought that if I had these selected, no matter what an ad would play before the video, and even in this monetization video, I started out saying, you may have noticed that there was an ad in the beginning of this video. And a lot of people have commented saying that they never saw an ad and it's just the way that YouTube works. So I like to increase my opportunity by having all of these selected and hopefully YouTube will place the ads where I want them to. But one thing you will 
will notice is right down here during the video, you can actually place your ads manually. So if you do not select where you want your ads placed in the middle of your video, if it is over 10 minutes long, YouTube will go in and they will just automatically place the ads where they think there are natural breaks or like a pause or something slow within the video that they think that they could add an ad. What I do for every single one of my YouTube videos, I go in and I add the ads myself. So if I click on this editor option right here, this bar, this dollar sign, if I even hover over it, it just says ad breaks. So right here, this little bar, as well as this little bar show the ad breaks that I have included within the YouTube video. So I'm going to click on this. You can see that the first ad break is at three minutes and 33 seconds. And the second one is at 826. So what this is saying is that there's basically four opportunities for ads within my YouTube video. Like I said, one can be placed at the beginning, one can be placed at the end. And then I also have two selected within the middle. And then it's up to YouTube to place those ads to show them within my video. But I do want to take a look at my audience retention rate and see if people are actually watching my video long enough to see all of the ads. Okay, so I want you guys to remember three minutes and 33 seconds and eight minutes and 26 seconds. Now, just off the top of my head and knowing audience retention rate, a lot of people do not stay that long through a YouTube video. So I'm going to guess about 20% maybe are seeing the second ad that I've chosen there, but I'm hoping that a lot of people are staying through at least the first ad. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to analytics over here. So 333, 826. Here's the audience retention rate. We're gonna click on see more just so we can get a little bit more detailed. And up until that 333, point. So somewhere around here, guys, about 44% of the people that originally clicked on the video are making it to this point. So a lot of people are only seeing the first ad that is placed within the YouTube video, the first ad not placed within the YouTube video, the first ad placed at the beginning of the YouTube video. And I'm really only making money from that ad because a lot of people are dropping off before the second ad, the first one within the video. So that's not great. But if we go down, I think I said 826, right? So 27.7% of the people that clicked on the video are getting to that point and they're actually watching that ad, meaning about 20% of people are seeing three ads within my YouTube video and I'm getting paid out for those three ads. But that is it for this YouTube video. I'm really hoping that you guys found it interesting and informative. I tried to share some things that I haven't shared in other videos in the past, but if you guys do wanna learn more about monetization or even if you just wanna see my first YouTube page how much money I made if you're just now getting started with YouTube. I will include all of that in the description bar down below. And I have some other fun videos coming out soon talking about how much money I make from YouTube, how I was able to grow my income and really turn this into a full-time job. So if you guys are interested, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. But otherwise, I will see you guys back here on Tuesday with another video and on Friday with another vlog. Bye guys. Bye. Huh, I don't like this. What's that noise? That's not true. Uh, I need to figure out what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, I figured that would happen. I just need to talk naturally. Terrible. I can't do this. Uh, no, that's like so bad. I can't do it.